Hey guys, welcome back to Frenchy Outdoors. So today I'm going to be going over my grab bag. So this isn't actually my main bag out bag, but it's the one that I have next to my door. Uh, just in case I do need to move out of an area pretty quickly, especially with what's going on now. Um, so in the event lockdowns get tougher, um, you know, certain things like that. Um, things like flooding as well. Uh, we do have some flooding in the, in the area that I live in uh, at certain points during the year. So this is just a good thing that I keep by the door so I can literally rush in, grab it, get back out and uh, get to a safe location. So in the event of flooding, heavy winds, storms, we have had some uh, pretty nasty storms in the last few months. Uh, so just a little bag like that. Uh, it's not very big, it's probably about 15 to 20 litres. Uh, so it is not a big bag, but in here is uh, all the essentials that I need for uh, two to three days. So first of all, the bag, um, it's by a company called Compass. It's not very well known, um, but I just picked this up as they're for about six quid. Um, as you can see, it's got little elastic bits here for a bottle of water. And that one, not using right now, it's got this nice a bunch of it here so you can maybe stick a jacket something like that so for the first out of pockets let me just move this down there you guys okay so we have a nice out of pocket here so in here i've just got a little bottle of hand sanitizer and a small first aid kit put your little first aids on there so i just have that in the front so it's easy to access and that's it for the front pocket now for this bigger pocket on the outside. So in here I have a little uh, FM radio. I picked this up at a corner shop for two pounds. Comes with a little bit of headphones and a little belt clip. Uh, it's got a little pedometer on it as well, but I mainly need it for the radio. Uh, so this is just so I can listen to updates, um, you know, local news, things like that, traffic, you know, all that good stuff. So a little radio is always good to have. Uh, if you can get a crank up one, so uh, you can power up your devices as well, your phone's probably a bit more useful than that, but uh, yeah, in the event your phone dies. In here is a little uh, possible's pouch, possible's case. Um, so again, just pick this case up uh, as the cover quid. Uh, so I actually got a few of those, so they're pretty cheap, that's not too bad. So in here, I've got a little uh, bit of tin foil, so I can do all sorts of things with that. I can end up making a fire with uh, putting a strip of it on a battery, I can make a cup out of it, all sorts of use for tinfoil. Uh, then I've got an emergency blanket. Again, self-explanatory. Keeps it nice and warm. Um, yeah, does what it says on the tin. A uh, little sharpie, always good to have. Uh, if you need to make a note, or uh, maybe if you're dealing with someone who's had an, uh, an accident, you need to mark what's happened to them. Uh, so that's always a good thing to have. And then just a couple of meters of uh, power cord. Again, million one uses. And here I have a little box of matches with some cotton in it and a big lighter, and that's just secured by a hair tie. And I've also got a little thing of toothpaste. Um, the toothpaste is actually really good for bug bites, and now in Scotland we're coming into the midget season. So it's always a good thing to have, but again, for cleaning your teeth if you're out for longer than you expected. Uh, what else? So I have this little survival tin. So you may have seen this in my last video. Uh, that I had that in my daily hiking bag. So I usually have this in my uh, grab bag now. So I've changed my bags up a little bit. Um, so yeah, so in here, just got a survival tin with the mirror. And it's got heat sealed batteries in there. Uh, a little bit of cloth for charring. And some matches here. And some tinfoil with, I think about, maybe a meter, meter or so of duct tape wrapped around it. And there's also a little button compass in there, if you can see that. So again, all good things to have. Um, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. But again, this is just a little, um, a good little kit to have in a nice watertight box. Uh, again, so inside this you have some little organization pockets. So again, I just have a little bit more cord can never have enough cord so for setting up shelters. So I can actually use a, a poncho that I have in here and the survival blanket as my shelter system. But I also do have a big blanket which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, so nothing else at the bottom. Uh, just more fire making stuff, so Vaseline. 
a little bit of tape, so that's always good to have. And then one uses again. And I have a little emergency candle. So this is pretty good for uh, starting your fire if it's maybe it's windy. You can just use a lighter. Uh, it's a lighter that I have on my EDC. Uh, you guys would have seen that in my last video. If you haven't, then you can check it out. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little jet lighter, so you can light that. And uh, you can start your fires with that. If you're having a little bit of trouble. Uh, yep, yeah, so as always, have a little knife with you. Uh, you can never go wrong uh, with having a knife because you know, a million one uses again. Um, but you should always have some form of cutting tool. Uh, this is the Gerber power frame, so you guys would have seen that in my last video. That little pocket clip. It takes two hands to open. Pretty sharp, uh, holds the knife fairly well. But again, very small, very useful. Um, you know, processing tinder, food prep, everything. And again, uh, another one of the LED torches. So this one I don't have covered in tape. So you can see, a little half click, high, low, and stroke. Uh, that's it for this pouch, this pocket in the bag. So as you guys would have seen, I have the bottle of water on the side there. And for our main pocket, I just have a little rain mac. This is from, uh, you can see that, uh, Quechua. That's backwards, but yeah, it's Quechua. Uh, really good stuff, you should check them out. And I just have a little thing of wet wipes. You can never go wrong with these if you need to clean yourself. It's a nature calls. And I also have a little, um, just a little face final sort of thing, a uh, handkerchief mount the house these are very cheap they're like two or three pounds really fun uh, good thing to use and then i have some food in here so i just have so a couple of things of oats uh, a mug shot type thing and a little thing of noodles and uh and something else in here um yeah so i just made up these this amount of food here i can stretch that to two two and a half days um, but usually if I had something like this for hiking, it would last me one day. But in a stretch, uh, in a pinch, I can stretch that to two days, maybe two and a half. And then as I said before, I just have a nice trail blanket. Uh, this I got from Trespass. It's pretty good. Uh, nice and warm. I've actually used it a few times. Um, but yeah, actually packs up pretty small. And uh, yeah, very warm. You can Take this using the tape that I have uh, to put it onto the survival blanket so I can use that as an extra layer of warmth. And then I have my poncho as well so I can make it a bit waterproof. And last couple of things. So I just have a little spork that I got from the army. Um, yeah, spork, self explanatory for eating your food. And some rehydration tablets. These are very good. Um, so, in things like you know, even if you're hiking for a few days, you maybe get a little bit run down, a little bit uh, sapped of energy if you're not eating too much, uh, especially in survival situations, but these are very good to have. And as always, spare pair of socks. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it today. So that was my grab bag. So I keep that just for emergency situations. So things like flooding, storms, and uh, you know, uh, other situations where I might not have enough time to uh, use my main uh, grab bags. So this is my bug out kit. So you guys would have seen that before my waste pack from my med kit and my knife on board. And I've changed my main bug out bag slightly. Uh, this bag can fuck off. <laughs> um, but yeah, this bag, my main one, and my waste pack, which never leaves me. Um, but in the event I can't actually grab these, then I have this bag here. Uh, yeah, so everything in here can sustain me for up to three days. That's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, like and subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more videos in the coming days. I'll be doing things like tips, um, you know, different things like that. Wilderness tips, survival, bushcrafting, um, little things like that. I'll be doing some nature videos uh, when I can get outside again. Yeah, cool. I'll see you guys later.